Welcome to Motivation at Hand. To know is to know how. The call of the water is strong. For those who feel nature's song. A passion for the earth's great blue, a heart to assist in all it can do. The rivers, lakes, and oceans wide, are where their hearts and souls reside. To serve the waters, their true desire. To be a steward to nature in our time of dire. The guardians of the waterway, who work hard day by day. To preserve and protect it all, to answer the water's call. The stewards of the ocean deep, with a heart full of nature's keep. Working tirelessly to aid, and protect the creatures in their shade. People who love the water. Have a fire inside, and it only gets hotter. Be of assistance to Gaia, Earth, once and for all. People who work in jobs that involve water can be called a variety of terms depending on their specific role in the industry they work in. Here are the 10 professions related to water categorized by their areas of expertise. 1. There are Aquatic Biologist and Marine Biologist 2. Fishing A fisherman is an older vernacular. It has been advanced to fisher persons. 3. Safety Includes, lifeguards, police, environment safety, and sustainability. 4. Engineering there are marine engineers. 5. Science. Include, oceanographers. 6. Transportation, dock workers, captains, sailors, mechanics, logistics, to name just a few. 7. Sailors are found here. 8. Diving. And scuba diver. 9. Water treatment. There are definitely water treatment plant operators. 10. Law enforcement. The United States Coast Guard. Additionally, the United States government is a specific category in and of itself. The U.S. government employs a variety of professionals who work on or near bodies of water. Here are four categories related to water careers that the government employs, which may not be commonly found in the commercial industry. 1. Hydrologist is a scientist who studies water and its properties, such as its distribution, movement, and quality. The U.S. government may employ hydrologists to conduct research on water resources, develop water management policies, and monitor water quality. 2. Marine biologists study marine organisms and their interactions with their environment. The U.S. government may employ marine biologists to conduct research on marine ecosystems, assess the impact of human activities on marine life, and develop policies to protect marine species. 3. Environmental protection specialist work to ensure that natural resources, including water, are managed in a sustainable and responsible manner. The U.S. government may employ environmental protection specialists to conduct environmental assessments, develop and enforce regulations, and provide technical assistance to stakeholders. 4. Oceanographers, study the physical, chemical, and biological properties of the ocean. The U.S. government may employ oceanographers to conduct research on ocean currents, climate change, and marine ecosystems, and to provide support for activities such as offshore energy development and national security. These four career categories related to water that the U.S. government employs, which may not be commonly found in the commercial industry. People who work in jobs that involve water can be called a variety of terms depending on their specific role in the industry they work in. Here are 10 career categories, and the general prerequisites for each of the career category. 1. Biologists, a scientist who studies the life in freshwater and marine ecosystems. Aquatic biologist, a bachelor's or master's degree in biology, environmental science, or a related field is typically required. Take note, a PhD may be required for some research positions and marine biologist, a bachelor's or master's degree in marine biology or a related field is typically required. A PhD may be required for some research positions. 2. Fishing, a person who catches fish for a living, either commercially or recreationally. Fisher persons, there are no specific educational requirements for becoming a fisher person, but a high school diploma or equivalent is typically preferred and some on the job training may be required. 3. Safety, a person who is responsible for ensuring the safety of people in and around water, typically at swimming pools, beaches, 
or other water-based recreational areas. Lifeguard, certification in CPR and first aid is required, and completion of a lifeguard training program is typically required. 4. Engineering, a professional who designs and builds structures, ships, and equipment that can withstand the harsh conditions of the ocean. Marine engineer, a bachelor's degree in marine engineering or a related field is typically required. 5. Science, a scientist who studies the physical, chemical, and biological properties of the ocean. Oceanographer, a scientist who studies the life in marine ecosystems. A bachelor's, master's, or PhD in oceanography or a related field is typically required. 6. Diving, a person who dives underwater with the use of a self-contained underwater breathing apparatus, scuba, to explore or work on various underwater structures or environments. Scuba diver, certification from a scuba diving training organization is required, which typically involves completing a scuba diving course and passing a certification exam. 7. Water treatment, a person who works at a water treatment plant to ensure that water is purified and safe for human consumption. Water treatment plant operator, a high school diploma or equivalent is typically required, and completion of a water treatment plant operator training program is required. 8. Law enforcement, a branch of the military responsible for enforcing maritime laws, responding to emergencies, and conducting search and rescue operations in and around waterways. 9. Coast Guard, a bachelor's degree is not required, but completion of a Coast Guard Academy program or officer candidate school is typically required. Alternatively, completion of basic training and serving in the enlisted ranks may be an option. 10. Sailor, a person who works on a boat or ship, often as a member of the crew. Over 70% of the U.S. requires a boater safety education card to operate recreational boats and PWCs. States that mandate the successful completion of the course issue a card. This card must be on board the vessel and available for inspection upon request by enforcement officers. Sailor, there are no specific educational requirements for becoming a sailor, but on the job training is typically required. 10 career categories regarding transportation on the waters and waterways. 1. Merchant Mariner, is a professional who operates commercial vessels, such as cargo ships, tankers, and passenger vessels. 2. Ship Captain, is responsible for overseeing the operation and navigation of a vessel, ensuring the safety of the crew and passengers, and complying with maritime regulations. 3. Marine Engineer, designs, operates, and maintains the mechanical and electrical systems of ships and other marine vessels. 4. Deck Officer, is responsible for the navigation, safety, and maintenance of a vessel's deck equipment and systems. 5. Marine Surveyor, inspects vessels to ensure compliance with safety and environmental regulations, and to assess their condition and value. 6. Maritime Pilot, is a professional who guides ships into and out of ports, navigating them through narrow waterways and other challenging conditions. 7. Tugboat Operator, is responsible for operating a small vessel that is used to tow or push larger vessels, such as cargo ships or barges. 8. Shipping Agent, is a professional who works as a liaison between shipping companies and port authorities, coordinating the movement of goods and vessels in and out of ports. 9. Marine Traffic Manager, is responsible for coordinating vessel traffic in a given area ensuring the safe and efficient movement of vessels through busy waterways. 10. Cruise Director, is responsible for overseeing the entertainment and activities on board a cruise ship, ensuring that passengers have an enjoyable and memorable experience during their voyage. These are just a few examples of careers under the category of marine transportation. Other careers may include marine traffic controllers, port operators, and maritime logistics professionals. Any other profession that may involve water in some capacity but does not fall under any of the above categories may have different educational or training requirements depending on the specific job. In conclusion, pursuing a career in a field related to water can be an incredibly rewarding and fulfilling choice. Whether you have a passion for sailing, fishing, marine engineering, or environmental science, there are a wide range of opportunities available that can allow you to turn your love of the water into a successful and meaningful career. 
By taking advantage of resources like motivation at hand, you can gain the skills and knowledge you need to succeed in your chosen field and build a career that allows you to do what you love while making a positive impact on the world around you. Are you a water lover looking to pursue a career in this field? Now is the time to take the first step on your journey towards your dream career. Have at it. Much appreciation to you for giving of your time with us at Motivation at Hand. To know is to know how. We trust you will come back soon.